Hey! Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Elena Drinks Beer, formerly known as Skewed Food. We will soon never speak of that again. I'm sure you are all wondering at home, is Elena gonna do dry January? And the short answer to that question, no. And anyone who thought that I was gonna do dry January is a complete idiot. That's not to say that I didn't think about doing dry January. I definitely think that the past few months have been questionable in terms of my drinking, but not in like an addiction way. Like I know some people are concerned about me. I may or may not have sent someone a text about sampling wine at work that was misconstrued as them thinking that I am now just drinking on the job, which is absolutely not true. I would never do that. Uh, but ugh, I don't know why I'm trying to wink. I'm not a very good winker. I don't like saying winker. It makes me think of those leaked photos of that soccer player woman. Anyway, so dry January. Yes, I thought about doing it because specifically around October, this whole drinking beer for YouTube videos thing became a lot more difficult for a couple reasons. We went on a trip to Florida and while I was there, I drank so much that when I came home, I was really messed up internally. We won't get into any specifics with that. Two, I tried all those Oktoberfest beers and they just did not resonate with me personally. I'm sure they're good, but it wasn't my thing. So it began to feel like a job where like I would have to come home and like try, you know, I, I would have to be like, okay, I'm gonna try two Oktoberfest beers tonight. You can't have anything you actually enjoy, but you have to try these and you have to review them. And then like, it just became unenjoyable. I, and the stouts as well. And just like... <laughs> And while I still at heart would love to do that, I also realistically know what I like. That's the great thing about having tried so many beers over this year, even though it kind of just reinforced what I already knew I liked, at least now, like, I know for sure, like, these are things I like. I like trying sours, I like trying IPAs, I like trying pale ales, blonde ales, I like smoked beer. It's, it's given me a direction. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop drinking beer, not even for January. I think I'm just gonna make better choices. I'm not gonna try to force myself to try things I don't like. I've become, like, really addicted to editing over the past four days. I took four days off work. Well, I took three days off. Brenna thankfully took another one of my shifts so I could be a real person and actually enjoy my life. And I I, I very much did, except for the fact that I accidentally took two Benadryl yesterday instead of two Pepto. So I was just like out of commission for a good 10 hours of the day. I don't know why my dog made that <laughs> noise. People that really know me know that I used to take Benadryl a lot in high school when I had to be around people that I didn't really like. I mean, I do have bad, I have really bad seasonal allergies, but it also had like a bit of a mood altering effect. And I'm not saying I was like abusing Benadryl, but I, I used to take like quite a bit of Benadryl, but I don't really take it anymore because I just like get too sleepy and my mouth gets really dry. But my stomach was really upset. So I woke up really early yesterday and I keep them both in my backpack. Both are in bottles, both are in capsule form and both are pink. So I just accidentally took two Benadryl. Where are we going with this? Basically, I went to Total Wine the other day. Alrighty, okay, we're back, geez. I don't know why it's always just it's always just an adventure when I'm at Total Wine. It's very hot in here too. Like it's not that warm outside, but it's oh, getting my finger in there. That's a little warm. They didn't have like anything that I wanted. They had the Alaskan Baltic Porter. However, it was very large, and therefore I didn't want to buy it because I I know that I won't like it. And so we're sticking to our guns. We're gonna. I wonder if this would help. Oh. oh wow, that's actually amazing. But I did get some things and I think this month is gonna shape up to be a bit of an IPA focus for me. Not that every month isn't that, but especially I'm gonna just like kind of take that path and maybe explore it, you know. Let me show you what I got. Maine Beer Company Freeport Maine Lunch IPA. And I respect them because their packaging is very simple, which makes me feel like their product must be good because otherwise they would need to spend more on packaging it to market it. So I did get something from Alaskan, which was their Husky IPA Mosaic IPA. Got a double digit hazy IPA from Avery. And finally, Sour Pale Ale from Blue Owl Brewing. Gemini Xmas. Anyway, I just wanted to check back in and clarify on like why it was so awkward. So basically the cashier starts talking to me about Big Ten football, I think. 
he's like referencing games and people on the coaching staff that I uh so I just sort of faked my way through the conversation and said all's fair in Big Ten football and he seemed to really eat that up but like ultimately at the end of the day I don't even know if that was the sport he was talking about <laughs> that's the thumbnail just my foot um what am I trying to say I'm gonna watch Rock of Love, but first, gotta have my Brett's Brew, if you know, you know. And um, my Brett's Brew tonight is from Blue Owl Brewing. It's the Spirit Animal Sour Pale Ale. I've been very excited to try this, so let's just try it. Ooh, okay, so it smells like Sierra Nevada, but sour. Blue Owl Brewing just really, really gets it, I think. This is really good. Tastes like a pale ale, tastes like Sierra Nevada, but with like a light sourness akin to like the Red Bud Berliner Weisse. Six out of six bottle caps or whatever. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna have some snacks now and watch Rock of Love. It's very dim. This is, it's quite scary. It's kind of like the Blair Witch Project. Okay, say goodbye days. Okay, that's a goodbye from Daisy. Specs. Specs. I always have the light. <laughs> we have smart light bulbs, so I always have it on like such a strange color. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. <gasps>